Welcome back. Palantir and SpaceX have helped to pave the way and usher in a new generation of startups focused on national security. Take Red Six, a Santa Monica co company that was founded by Dan Robinson, first non-American to fly an F-22 fighter. Um, he actually started Red Six. Uh, uh, we're going to just play some sound from him. Red Six was born when we discovered uh, um, that we had a, an opportunity to take augmented reality and, and make it work outdoors and in dynamic environments, which was the really key technical breakthrough. All right, Red Six is using that tech to train pilots faster and more cheaply with the first platform to be deployed to the Air Force this year. The company's still small but growing fast. It's got investors like Lockheed Martin and Epic Games. New board members like former Air Force acquisitions head Will Roper and retired four-star Air Force General Mike Holmes. We think the tools are coming together. They were developed largely in the civilian side, and now we're trying to work to fit them in to how they'll affect military training. We'll start with flight training, but I think the, the opportunities go well beyond that. You could do this augmented reality training for ground forces. You could do this augmented uh, training for naval forces. Roper, who also recently joined drone maker Valancey's board, was a strong advocate of bridging the DOD tech sector divide when he was a Pentagon official. He sees this moment as an inflection point for more investment in the national security space. Many areas of emerging tech have regulatory risk. They have safety risk, approval risk, and the military is very good at approving new technologies for use. And in the case of Red Six, we haven't put augmented reality in an airplane or a car or anything else that's moved and certify that it's safe to operate that vehicle while looking at an augmented view of reality. The military is very good at being able to take on those challenges. In other words, opportunities for new entrants to win Pentagon business and spur innovations that could ultimately have broader commercial applications, much like we have seen with Palantir and SpaceX. Red Six, for example, already has plans to expand into commercial aviation, urban aviation, even outdoor gaming. Um, there are a number of these companies that are, many of them still small, but growing, Carl, um, including on the space side. We talked to Relativity Space last week after they just won their first DOD contract. Um, it speaks to perhaps, and I've talked about it for a number of years, Andrel is one of those companies that we've had on uh, multiple times and is, is growing pretty strongly right now. Um, it speaks to the fact that there does seem to be this shift, this opening uh, for new entrepreneurs, new innovators to start to do that government work um, that maybe a couple years ago was something that was being steered clear, to, being steered clear of uh, by some of those more established tech companies out of Silicon Valley. Yeah, I, I wonder how it ties in. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.